Hey guys, it's the Sun Sage and I'm back to do a pick a card reading. This is inquiring on why your person chose you, okay? So chose you over others, over the competition, over an ex, over um, others that um, they may have been attracted to or were attracted to them. So I'm going to get really in depth into the message. I'm going to use my mythical goddess tarot deck, which is going to um, be in addition to the tarot. So we're going to see what's going on for your person, why they chose you. All right. So this is for those of you in a soul partnership, those of you who are connecting to someone. Um, I would say if there are any gray areas in your connection, this may not be the reading for you um, because there is still some um, some murkiness over whether this is a dynamic where you both have been chosen by the other. So if you feel like you're in that situation, I don't want you to look through the messages or receive the messages and um, see that it doesn't resonate or feel that it doesn't resonate with you. All right. I'd rather you just, um, you know, subscribe to the channel and wait for another reading that may fit more along with your situation. So again, this is why your person, your person chose you over others. All right. So I am going to start with group one. Okay. So group one, you pick this deck here. So we're going to go ahead and get started with you and see why it is your person chose you over everyone else. Okay. All right. Um, this is for those of you in soul partnerships. If you feel like you're not in a position with your person where they've chosen you or however you look at it, this may not be the reading for you. Um, these are general messages, but these are mostly going to be channeling those of you who picked this deck and want to see why your person chose you. All right. So we're going to pull a few, a few cards. All right. So we have the eight of cups. I'm going to line them up first and then we'll get into them. We have the 10 of, I'm sorry, the nine of wands. We have the Ten of Swords. Right. We have the King of Wands. We have the Ace of Swords, Group One. Right. We have the Empress. <clears throat> okay. So we have the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and we have the Seven of Wheels, all right, or Seven of Pentacles, okay. So let's get into it. Um, Group one, I feel like your person chose you because no matter what you go through, you have a lot of integrity. You're always able to bounce back. Um, I feel like with this Eight of Cups here, this is sometimes a signal of someone walking away in the pursuit of happiness from things that don't make them happy. So there's a sense that they find you very brave, right? We even have the King of Wands here, right? Representing Leo energy, um, bravery here. So I feel like they find you very brave. I feel like they also look at you as someone who sees that there's so much more that you want. They love the fact that you um, have a lot of dreams, that you have a lot of things you want to accomplish, that there's a, a sense in a good way that you're never satisfied with, with what you have um, in a sense that you want, you, you can push yourself further. So I feel like with this Eight of Cups, they see you as somebody who has a vision, Okay, who has a vision, who follows your heart, who's true to your path. You do what your heart tells you to do. And I think they love that about you. There's um, courage in that Eight of Cups. There's a lot of courage in that Eight of Cups. For some of you, you may have um, chosen to find your happiness or find yourself over love um, for some time. And this person feels like you've actually that actually made you more lovable or more available um, to be to be loved, to love and be loved because you were able to go through your journey, put some things in the past, um, see that there's still more out there. The sun is on the horizon. Be optimistic and be positive. Like you learned a lot from your past relationships. And so they feel like you're very... Um, like there's levels to you, right? There's a lot of levels to you where you've been down, you've 
pulled yourself up, as we're going to see with that nine of wands. And you've been able to still be optimistic when it comes to love, right? You have a lot of bravery. Um, for this nine of wands, integrity, right? You have a lot of, <clears throat> you have a lot of fight in you. Okay, group one, you have a lot of fight in you. You have a lot of integrity. You don't let anyone push past you. You're not the type to, that people can push around. This is, again, a sign of strength. This is somebody who I feel they believe has emotional strength and has like a fortitude against adversity and it's unmatched. Again, you can get knocked down with this ten of swords and then you can get right back up with this king of wands. Okay. Um, you have an energy about you, group one, where I think your person sees it like you could r run the world or something like that. Like you could rule the world. <laughs> you know, I just get like a really, um, a really, they, I feel like they look up to you. Yeah, I feel like they look up to you here with this um, Ten of Swords. I feel like going back to that adversity and what you've been through, this person knows that you have been in situations that have been incredibly disappointing and heartbreaking for you. And they've seen you triumph and come out of those situations and again, bounce back. All right. So there's a lot of strength here with you. Um, some of the cards got out of order, so I'm just going to, I'm still going to read them as I see them, but um, the King of Wands here. So this is your charisma. I feel like you're somebody with a, a, a wonderful personality, very fiery. Um, your words can hurt. Okay. Your words can hurt. You don't, you don't have an issue humbling people. Okay. I feel like some of you are very free with your thoughts and very free with your words. And, and you're also, um, somebody that people can look up to. People can see that you are a wonderful dresser, right? You know how to dress. You have a lot of style. There could be a lot of flash to your style. You're very creative and innovative, but I feel like you most, for the most part, see yourself as, um, you're very confident, so it's very difficult for people to try to push you over and take advantage of you because your confidence exudes and they love that about you. It's very attractive, very attractive. OK, so with this Ace of Swords speaking your truth, you are somebody who does not hold back. You say what needs to be said. Um, you've gone through too much and you've seen too much and you're at a point where your person is able to see that you're like the top choice. You're their choice because you're honest. Okay. There's an honesty and a truthfulness to you as a person. And I feel like they know that you will not lie to them. You'll keep it real with them. All right. You're somebody that is, um, some of you, you know, could be entertaining a legal profession with that ace of swords. And they love the fact that you're well educated and very knowledgeable. Um, we also have like this empress energy here where it's like you're beautiful physically. Of course, they're physically attracted to you, but this is just confirmation, right? The empress is all the queens. So there's, like I said, there's levels to you. You're very you're a very deep person. You're not just surface or superficial. And while you may be beautiful to the, the human eye, right? King of Wands, Empress, lots of bright, innovative, um, beautiful sort of uh, appearance. You're also somebody who has a lot of deep thoughts, a lot of deep, um, well-meaning, very well-meaning, um, purpose of a very well-meaning purpose in your life right also with this empress um your abundance is showing up you could be somebody who is already a parent you could be somebody who already has experienced like a lot of the joys of life you may have been married you um are a, currently a parent or can't wait to be a parent or something like that with this empress your maternal energy comes through your um wifely or feminine um 
feminine nature exudes okay so you're very strong but you're the type of person group one where people may think that you look nice or you look passive or just because you look good and you're beautiful that they could take advantage of you and this person chose you because they see how strong you are and that people can't take advantage of you you won't allow that to happen all right so we have the queen of swords all right, we have this queen of swords. This can be a divorced person. I think they like the fact that you are emotionally available. Okay, the queen of swords can be divorced or what they feel is emotionally available. Also, this goes right into what I've already, you know, picked up from this energy that you are no nonsense. You keep it a hundred with this person. You may be the person in the connection that calls the shots, but you have a lot of integrity and you want to make sure that everybody's on the same page so they, they, there's no game playing, right? Um, seeing what you've experienced in life and what you've had to leave behind with that ace uh, eight of cups this queen of swords is is very um clear cut and very about wh what do you want i don't i don't want to play games i want to know what you want i'm going to tell you what i want i'm going to be very straightforward and very clear with you and i want the same in return and i feel like that's a conversation that you've had with this person and even if they came off as in intimidated they were really turned on by it okay so you're somebody, again, you've gone, you've had a lot of growth with this seven of wills or seven of pentacles. A lot of you may be divorced. You learn from those relationship mistakes you felt um, were something that uh, was really difficult for you at the time, but you didn't stay in that, in that phase of your life. You moved on in that cycle. You felt the pain. You're, you're the type of person, group one, where you are very, um, mentally strong, emotionally strong, and you're able to pull yourself out. Whereas they, like what you experience, you're like, nobody could walk in my shoes. Nobody could have gone through the things that I've gone through. Right. This is, a uh, a lot of growth and this is a lot of I feel like you still have challenges okay I still I feel like you still have challenges a lot of you may may feel like you still have a long way to go but with this intelligence okay this this sharp witty quickness you're you're capable of anything okay you're very talented like there's tons of levels to you and layers you have an emotional side but you also have a blunt side you could be a mother or a parent you could be somebody who is interested in a legal profession or somebody who's interested in fashion i see that here somebody who um wants to give beauty uh tips and show off a beauty regime but you also you're also someone who has been stabbed in the back Okay, so your person finds your vulnerability beautiful, the Queen of Cups, very vulnerable. They also feel like you're compassionate. As blunt as you are, as serious as you can be, as sort of guarded as you may come off at times, you're still a very loving, wonderful, beautiful person. Your heart shines through. I think you're a giver, okay? I think you are someone who... Um, you will give the shirt off of your back, group one. I believe that your person chose you because they see you as the empress, this beautiful creature on the outside, and also the queen of cups, this wonderful creature on the inside. And you're somebody who has a lot of understanding for those who are not, maybe not as well off as you, right? I also get that you're not really focused on material things and money. You only have one pentacles energy here, and that's a pentacle of like still progressing and still you know, working towards things, you may be frustrated. You're not where you want to be in life, but I think that they look at that again as a part of your beauty and the vulnerability. Um, you may seem perfect at times, the queen of swords, the empress, right? It can give off a, an air of perfection. Um, you don't like to make mistakes, <laughs> okay? You don't like to make mistakes at all, group one. But your person um, loves your clarity, loves the way that you speak your mind, loves the way that you have free thought. And I think that they love the fact that you are 
Um, for a lot of you divorced, a lot of you are divorced, a lot of you are dominant, you've had to be the dominant character in your life, you're a provider and a protector, um, you're also very fun, okay, so I'm going to get some more from the mythical goddess tarot deck, we're going to see what these say about you, why your person chose you group one, okay, we have the will of fortune, okay? So that could be an indication of money, but I feel like it's also your person recognizing how much you can bring to the table just because you are so multi-layered. Just because you're a beautiful person, you can, you know, you look good with them, you make them look good. They feel fortunate with your presence, okay? You're somebody that they feel fortunate to have. Like they, for some of them, I can tell, they don't feel like they deserve you at all. Okay, they don't feel like they deserve you at all. You're very feminine and very womanly. And if you're a masculine energy, you are able to pull from your inner feminine side to um, empathize and sympathize with, with your partner. And so that's very attractive to them. All right, so that will of fortune is I feel like they feel lucky that you came into their life. And I feel like they, they believe that you came into their life at the perfect time. Right. Like you're you're going to be supportive and you're going to be somebody who gets through any type of adversity with them. You're not going to make them feel alone. OK. You're very emotionally supportive and you you're like probably really good with strategies and stuff. You're like a quick thinker. Very clever. Group one. All right. Why did your person choose you? The five of earth manipulation. I think when this card comes out, when there's like a mess, the, um, I think that the way that this comes off as positive is I feel like this is saying you have them in the palm of your hands. This card is representing like five of pentacles or five of earth energy. This still confirms to me that when you came into their life, it kind of changed everything. And they may not have been somebody that was easily moved by others. You were the one who had the magic touch. That's how I see this. You were the one who were able to pull them um, to make them want better and to make them do better. And you were the one who kind of were able to, to, maneuver, to move them. This person was unmoved, right? Your person could be a Taurus. OK, there's a lot of energy showing up here. We have Taurus, we have Libra, we have Leo, we have um, Cancer, OK, Pisces. So I feel like your person feels or that could be or any of those could be your sign. All right. But even if it's not, I feel like you have somebody who was very. Um, maybe given up on love. Right. And felt like they were not going to have somebody to challenge them and to move them. But they are like putty in your hands. OK, group one. All right. More for group one. Why their person chose them. <clears throat> Ten of wind illusion. That goes for me with that eight of cups, that visionary sort of thing. I think that you represent somebody who is some, somebody that they fantasized about, somebody that they dreamt about, and now they have like the real thing. So it sometimes feels like an illusion. It sometimes feels too good to be true. Will of fortune and illusion. Okay. It feels like it's something that can quickly be taken away from them, but they know that this is a unique energy to have to feel for someone. And so as intimidated as they can be, I feel like they don't want to lose it. Um, they don't want to lose you. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to get a couple of messages. These are physical and characteristics to see why they chose you over others. Why they chose you over others. Group one. Sincere. Okay. That's a word that was missing. Um, with this Queen of Cups, you're very genuine and very sincere and your truth comes from the heart. It's not coming from an ugly place or a mean place or a manipulative place. Even though we have manipulation here, they may have felt initially or could even still feel like you manipulated their heart or you you made that you made them fall in love with you. Like you have the magic touch or something. But this person does feel like it's not for ulterior motives. Like you are very sincere. 
in how you feel and you're very sincere in how you move in your life. All right. We also have peaceful. Okay. That gives me eight of cups energy. You struggled in the past. You've been through a lot. You've experienced heartache more times than you wish to count. You've been incredibly pained. Okay. By the circumstances of life and felt just so beat down, so betrayed and backstabbed by people that you, you shared your truth with all of these swords you spoke your truth to and you shared your truth with. And, um, You've been able to emerge from that like a stronger person and a more emotionally healthy person. All right. More for your person. Why they chose you. Spirituality. All right. So a lot of times when the eight of cups goes on their journey, fulfilling and seeking happiness, nothing has made them happy. All right. So it doesn't matter how many cups are there, how many relationships may have been there that seemed fulfilling. There was something missing. So that goes to your vulnerability. They saw that you believe there was something missing. And instead of using vices and bad habits to sort of fill that void, you summoned your integrity with this nine of wands. You summoned your integrity. You were like, I'm not happy in a marriage. All right. I need to, I'm not going to just be that person that stays in a marriage or I'm not happy with this career. I'm not just going to stay here. I'm going to have faith in myself, right? I'm going to fight for what I really want because this ain't it. So they see you as somebody with, um, a strong spirituality and a strong faith and belief in something higher than yourself, right? Or else you wouldn't be able to make the brave decisions that you make, okay? So that was really lovely, group one. Um, so yeah, that was actually really nice. And um, it feels like your person really looks up to you and um, has a lot of genuine love for you because a lot of this was about the core of who you are, um, the, the, the good, the bad and the ugly, and they still love you. So, um, I hope that resonated for you guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and I will talk to you soon. Group two, I am back to do your pick a card reading for you and your soul partner. This is getting deep into why your person chose you, all right? Why they chose you over others, why they, um, how they realized you were the one for them, you were their person. And I'm going to just get um, some tarot messages. I'm going to get some additional messages with the uh, Mythical Goddess tarot deck and also the... Um, messages that I created myself, like physical and personality traits to see what comes out. Okay. So what I am going to do is lay the cards out. We're going to see what, what it is, this person that you're thinking about group two right now, why they chose you. All right. So let's get into it. Why did group two's person choose them? King of Swords. Six of Cups. Queen of Cups. Nice. Group one got that as well. Tower. Page of Wands. Eight of Swords. Three of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. All right. So this is why your person chose you over others. Group two. All right. So let's start with this King of Swords, all right? So the King of Swords is very intelligent, very smart, very savvy, 
Okay. Um, they can at times come off as emotionally um, detached. So that could be something that your person finds very attractive. If you're like a hard to get type person, not playing hard to get, but really hard to get. If you are somebody that is not easy to have access to and you have this, uh, your back sort of turned to romantic advances and you can kind of see through like the foolishness and people like, uh, trying to play games with you they knew they had to be on their game when it came to you right and they knew they had to come to you and come at you with a different approach and I feel like the approach that they see is that you are somebody who um who they see very clearly okay there's not a lot of masks being worn here with either of you I feel because this could represent you or your person but so if this is representing your person, it's they chose you because they're decisive. That's just it. They want you. They 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 chose you. The King of Swords is very decisive, right? But the um, King of Swords energy can also represent you in the fact that you are not easily accessible. You come up as above others in your demeanor and in how you carry yourself. And you're very smart and very clever and you don't come off as somebody who is um, easy to manipulate. The King of Swords is far from easy to manipulate. Um, yeah, this sword is like, this King of Swords and this sword, like I'm looking closer at this card, like this person is sure. So there's a certain, there's a certainty um, when it comes to you and why they chose you over others. It, it, it may not have even started off as something they felt more like something that they just knew. The King of Swords thinks they know everything. So it's kind of that thing where when they met you, they knew something was different about you. They met you. They knew that this was something, something more. Okay. They were able to figure that out when it came to you. You are their soulmate. That's why they chose you over others. You are a soulmate. You are six of cups energy to them. You feel familiar to them or you guys may have just known each other for a really long time. You have some history. You have some ups and some downs. But for the most part, you think very fondly of each other. So there's this bond here. I think that's the word that I'm looking for. This bond, this chemistry here that is hard to pull away from. Um, this person, if, if this is somebody who has tried to move on, um, I'm not saying that this person has, but it would be very difficult for them to, because the six of cups is memories and nostalgia. They would just miss you. So it wouldn't be the same, right? It, it just wouldn't even be the same with others. Because there is something here that is deep and something here that is very clear to recognize as um, special. Okay. Queen of Cups. They're here out of pure love. They see this in you and it, it makes them feel this in themselves. I feel like this person sees that you are probably the most loving, forgiving, kind, generous person um that they know and that is something that they want to have in their life forever again with that six of cups the queen of cups is someone's soulmate very emotionally um can at times be emotionally dr dramatic but you feel this queen right she makes it known that you're gonna feel where my heart is i'm i don't have anything to lie about you're not gonna be on a you're, you're, there's not going to be any illusion about how I feel about you. I'm going to make it very clear with this cup of mine to the right person. The queen of cups keeps that, that cup of love very close to her chest, right? It can't be exposed to everyone, but I feel like you've exposed yourself to this person in more ways than one. And there's a lot of trust here that you have for them. And so they look at you as somebody that there's a lot of deep love that they have for and you have for them. And there's a lot of trust here with each other's feelings. Okay. Um, also looking at that King of Swords, that's not somebody that you want to piss off. So I feel like they chose you because they also realize like your heart isn't, you're not going to let anyone play with your heart, right? With that Queen of Cups and that, um, <clears throat> that King of Swords. Okay. So the Tower, 
This is unpredictable, okay? You are a fireball. You are very feisty and unpredictable. You are not like the others, plain and simple. This could be in physical appearance. This could be in attitude and character, demeanor, the way you carry yourself. It's something they weren't expecting possibly to be attracted to. Um, it's something that's different, that, that the universe kind of like threw in their life and they were like, whoa. It shook them up, right? Um, having somebody like you, having somebody that feels like you were bought to them by some, this person may have actually been going through something really, um, really possibly painful or, or just life changing, right? You, your presence could be life changing for them, but they could have been going through something life changing and here you come, right? And changes their mind because the page of cups, I mean, I'm sorry, the page of wands is right after that and gives, and oh, this, wow, I, I wasn't expecting this, right? So they weren't expecting you to come into their life. And when you did the page of wands, hope and excitement, right? They feel excitement with you. The tower can also represent positive energies. Um, unexpected shock doesn't have to be negative, but I do feel like this person was going through something life changing. And then you came in and now they started having all of these ideas and uh, started, there was something in you that triggered their passion. Okay. There was something here that triggered their passion. It was like you lit a match in this person. You shook their life up. You lit a match. You made them realize that there's more to explore when it comes to love and passionate connections. So this Eight of Swords is interesting as, as for um, why someone would choose you, why they chose you over others. And what I'm feeling from this Eight of Swords is you have allowed this person with that emotional trust of that Queen of Swords, you have allowed this person to at times be a little bit unpredictable themselves. This person has not always been the most clear or had the most direction or been the most brave when it comes to taking steps towards you. There have even been times where they have been stuck. Okay, causing the connection to be somewhat in limbo. But what I get is that you may have held this person's hand, even if only symbolically through this. Like, you can trust me. We have to trust each other. There's something about this where, yes, you could feel stuck to each other. They could feel stuck to you. Um, they can't see others, right? There's symbolism in that. They're really not able to see outside of you. They're really not able to look at other romantic partners, potential partners, the way they are able to look at you. So they're, they can't be moved away from you. All right. They're tied up. They're, this is where they, this is where they want to be, even when they don't truly understand it. Okay. But I also feel like this eight of swords is, um, yes, it's a lack of understanding, but it's self inflicted like there are ways to free oneself okay and I feel like your person looks at you as somebody who can guide them and help them free themselves from their own mental anguish okay that with your compassion and with your honesty and with your purity you've been able to disarm this person but they still struggle they still struggle and we see that with the three of swords you're like a bomb to their heart. They chose you because they're a little bit broken. And you're equipped to deal with someone broken. Okay, you're a healer for a lot of you. You're an empath for a lot of you. You're very intuitive. So you knew that there was something going on deeper with this person that even if they couldn't express it, you could feel it and you didn't give them a hard time about it. You experienced uh, you or you showed them patience. You showed them compassion. This person is definitely a little broken group, too. Um, and they also talk like they 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 talk themselves out of 
things. So if they've experienced hurt, like we see that they have eight of swords, three of uh, swords, confusion and not knowing like what to to do in life and feeling directionless and feeling like no hope exists, right? I feel like you have supplied them with your love and, and with your understanding and with you trusting them with your heart, you have supplied them with the way. You are their guide. All right. The Three of Swords, they may also be able to um, see that you too have experienced incredible heartbreak and incredible pain. That could be um, something that you guys... That's why you're so understanding of each other or so loving towards each other because you both know what it's like to, to hurt. And so you don't ever want to treat someone you love like that. But there is a sense that you guys both have a shared experience of deep hurt and pain from love experiences, from being lied to, from being betrayed. Um, <clears throat> and so they feel like that's something that, you know, they want to be with somebody who understands that kind of trauma or understands that kind of pain eight of pentacles they love your determination all right a lot of you are hard workers a lot of you have a business especially with this king of pentacles a lot of you are perfectly sufficient self-sufficient and independent and get the job done and they love that about you along with being like compassionate and a like a good person you may give to your community some of you i feel like some of you give to charity or some of you do something for the community that they admire and that they look up to with this eight of pentacles they see you as somebody who is on your way to even more success even more abundance so if you are abundant right now and if you have a lot of things that they admire right now or in the material sense, this is only going to grow. They see themselves as being able to grow with you. The, the ten of, I'm sorry, the um, king of pentacles is a partner. This is husband energy. So they see you as a marriage. They see you as marriage material. That's why they chose you over all the others. Somebody they can have a life of, of wealth and savings and and longevity with and also somebody that they can build a family with so this is about them seeing you from a family dynamic right wanting to be a part of wanting them wanting you to be their partner and be a part of their family with that king of pentacles but also you're either good with money or they feel like you guys could be good together with money a team so to speak right Okay, so let me go into the Mythical Goddess Tarot deck. I want to get a good shuffle. Okay, so I hope it's resonating so far for you guys. Um, let's see why your person chose you with the Mythical Goddess Tarot deck group too. Let's get some more messages. Eight of Fire expression. Very expressive. That gives me that tower page of wands. You're a good communicator. Um, you're definitely a passionate communicator. Physically, some of you are curvy and, and, um, that attracts them. And you are very confident in yourself, right? This image, it's like dancing and seeing like you're very creative. The Queen of Cups can sometimes be a creative as well. Um, not just a healer, um, but definitely someone who can heal through like music. So I see that they look at you and see somebody um, is very confident and see somebody as very voluptuous possibly, but definitely somebody who is very expressive. Okay. Very expressive and unafraid to be yourself. Okay. More for group two. More for group two. Crone of wind, visionary. Okay. So you have a very, uh, of elaborate vision of your future that, that gives me like that. Um, this was the king of, uh, swords. Yeah. I was looking for that. So these are the similar, these are the same energies just in a different deck. Crone of, of wind and the king of swords. Um, the visionary. When they date, 
they're looking for a future. You're not dating somebody who just likes to date for fun. They could have done that in the past, but they're at a point in their life or they have been at a point in their life for some time where they're looking at the future. I got to have somebody who's a great mom. I got to have somebody who's a great marriage partner. I got to have somebody, you know, some of you may have children, a fire, a fire sign child, um, children again with this six of cups. All right. Some of you could already have children an established family. So they're looking at it as I have to be able to see myself in this person's life. And I do. That's why they chose you They're They'll make it work. Right. Whatever it is that they need to adjust to. Um, the crone of wind can adjust to it. All right. Um, another lovely. They feel complete with you. Completion for a fire. A lot of you guys are fire signs. We have Taurus here. Aquarius is here. Sagittarius. Uh, Aries. Leo. All right. But, um... Yeah, completion. This would be like the four of wands, marriage or celebrating um, something stable. Okay, you provide stability to this person along with the passion. Look at all this red, like along with the passion that's here. It's like you guys are like a really expressive couple. You can share your feelings and share like you guys are just really expressive with each other and you're extremely expressive you could even be helping them group to be more expressive all right so let's get some physical traits and uh, personality traits if we can for why group two's person chose them over the others witty Yes, that King of Swords can be a smart aleck, but very witty, very playful. That's what I miss with this Page of Wands. You guys can be very playful, very innocent. Yes, this could represent a physical child that you guys may have. All right, that's something that they want to they want to be a part of your life and they've already decided, hey, this person has a child. Okay, I'm going to come in and I'm going to be father figure. All right. Um... Page of Wands, um, yes, Page of Wands, witty, that playfulness, that innocence there. There's a purity to you, especially with that Queen of Cups. All right, more for group two, why their person chose them over others. You're very unique. Very unique. I get that with the Tower too. Remember, they may not have seen themselves with someone like you. And then boom, the universe goes, here you go. I bet you'll like this one, <laughs> you know, so you are a very unique person. All right, one more. And we have stylish. You're very stylish. So they like your style, even if that's not something you guys frequently talk about. This is confirmation that they like your style. I, I get this from um, the, the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords, kind of very sharp dresser. You, um, you want to always look presentable and look good. So they definitely see that in you. Um, your style is unique. Again, going to that creative, that, that creative side of you. All right. Okay, group two. So I hope that was insightful. That is what I have for you guys for, um, what your person, why your person chose you over the others. For more pick a card readings like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I will talk to you guys soon. Hello group three, I am back to do your pick a card for why your person chose you over the others, all right? So whoever you're thinking about, whoever you are connecting to, your soul partner, you want to know why they chose you. This could be a conversation you guys have all already had. So this may just be a reading for confirmation and you may know already why they chose you, but I thought this would be a pretty cool um, energy to channel. So we're going to see why it is they chose you over the others. 
um, maybe romantic prospects over an ex. We're going to see why it is that they chose you specifically. All right. Oh, okay. So we got two coming out, three of swords, and we have the tower. No need to fear. Group two got these both as well. All right. So we have the three of swords and the tower. And why does group three, why did group three's person choose them? We have the six of coins. Okay. Why did group three's person choose them over the others? The nine of swords. King of Swords. Group two got that as well. Six of Spears or Six of Wands. High, the Priestess. High Priestess. We have Temperance. And we have Judgment. Okay. So, deep soulmate, that's why they uh, chose you. They feel like there's a soulmate energy here that was undeniable with that judgment. But let's get started with this uh, Three of Swords. So, you guys may have been through a lot of pain together. I feel like that's the only difference between maybe you Group Two's Three of Swords and yours. Because this is the first card, I feel like this is already an energy that you and this person have shared together. You could be in right now. Feeling like you're in a crossroads in the relationship because of something that happened. Um, there could have been a breakup or could be a breakup, but you guys still love each other. And you feel like if I'm going to go through this, this is the only person I'm going to go through this with. So they chose you because they choose you to be their partner in good times and in bad. Okay. Um, they chose you because they may have felt like they contributed to your heartbreak. They contributed to your lack of trust or something that you guys went through that was really hard on you. Okay. And so they came in wanting to, with this tower, change things, shift things. Okay. I feel like this person has even changed and, and grown a lot. All right. Because of how things were with you guys. Okay. Um, I feel like there was a lot of hostile energy here. There may have even been third parties in your connection, which is, um, you know, they, they're choosing you over those third parties, but it's not been easy for the connection. And for those of you who are not in a situation where there was like this third party or cheating or pain, this person is choosing you because you guys have similarities in pain. Okay, you guys have similar um, experiences that you can bond over. Okay, so I feel like that's important for them. That's something having a partner to 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 go through that with with has been very helpful to them. Okay, six of coins. You're a giver. You're someone who does not mind listening to this person. You don't mind giving a birthday gift or giving a birthday shout, just letting this person know that you're thinking of them. This is something tangible that you've already proven that you don't have a problem giving a little bit to this person. It doesn't have to be money, but it's just something that made them feel special and that's why they're choosing you. Okay, the Six of Pentacles is generosity and kindness and feeling like, you've had some hard times yourself and so you know how, what it's like and you have no problem giving of yourself all right so you're very kind-hearted okay group three very kind-hearted nine of swords i feel like they're afraid to lose you with this nine of swords i feel like this is their fear not yours for why they chose you I feel like there's a fear of losing you. There's a fear of not ever experiencing this again. I already have channeled the soulmate energy here. So this is something they don't want to miss out on. Um, at times they could feel helpless. You have somebody who maybe tortures themselves. Um, they go through a lot of mental anguish with this nine of swords and they, they feel like, you know, this could feel like a kind of a codependent connection where they can't, they feel like you have brought so much to their life that to imagine you without it is to imagine themselves in despair. 
All right, so they have a fear of losing you with that Nine of Swords. Okay, so this King of Swords, the same thing for group two. The King of Swords is very decisive. So they chose you because they chose you. This is not someone who is in, um, indecisive. This is not someone who needs time to think about something. This is not someone who, you know, they, they, they've already thought about it. They've already made a head over heart decision and they still came back to you. So this is just it. This is, they chose you. All right. Um, the King of Swords is also very intelligent. So they find you. I think you guys may have like these really good conversations. They think that you're really logical and practical and you have you guys could share your like beliefs, your political beliefs. or you guys have um, similar thoughts on some of the same issues. So they find that very attractive here, but you're very intelligent that king of swords and some of you are like really book smart <laughs> look at this temperance some of you are super book smart some of you are very well educated okay six of spears okay so you are you've given this person a lot of recognition you've made them feel appreciated so of course they choose you OK, this person feels like somebody who has felt unappreciated for a big bulk of their life. And you came in like this giver. You came in as a good listener. You came in as somebody who could help them make decisions where they maybe were unable to. And you're also somebody who applauds them when they have accomplishments or makes them feel good about themselves when they're feeling a lot of anxiety or a lot of insecurities. OK, so this person loves the way that you make them feel, the recognition that they feel, the appreciation that they feel. OK, so the priestess, I look at this um, from two uh, perspectives, from your perspective, they see you as very um, intuitive. They value your opinion because they feel like it comes from a place of um, intelligence king of swords and also it comes from a pure place um your your heart and your soul they feel like you can never steer them in the wrong direction um some of you are pisces some of you are connecting to a pisces we also have scorpio aquarius sagittarius here leo okay but i feel like a lot of you your person they chose you because their intuition <laughs> right their intuition was like oh this is the one this is the one. There's a deep soul connection here. Um, you guys feel each other very deeply. You guys, there's a passion here, but you guys do feel each other very deeply. All right. So we have temperance. You help this person heal. That's why they've chosen you over others. You're like a medicine to them. You've helped them heal. You've helped them through that three of swords energy we saw, that heartbreak and that pain. You're very mild tempered. Even if you, you know, can sometimes lose it, sometimes you not not more than they do. I feel like a lot of you are very level headed and calm and peaceful with this temperance message here. And a lot of you are healers, like a divine healer, high priestess and the temperance. Some of you may have even started off giving this person advice and that built into a friendship and then came the attraction. That'll be for some of you, not for all of your situations, but for some of you, you just, you let this person know, hey, you shouldn't hang out with such and such anymore. I just don't have a good feeling about them. Or whenever this person is not feeling well or sick, you know the right remedy to get them better. All right. So we have judgment, soulmate, purpose. I feel like they see you. They'll follow you like whatever you they'll fo they'll follow you. Throughout life. Not like stalkerish. 
right? This is for healthy connections, but they'll follow you. They'll, they'll let you lead them because they trust the advice that you give. They trust your intuition. As we see, this is somebody who feels like you have the, the intuitive ability and the mental ability to give them good advice. So that's not something that they can get from others. And so they just feel like, yeah, this person has helped me. You may have even helped them find their current career or their current passion, help them find their purpose. A lot of them will say, you, you help me find myself. All right. So let's get some more from the mythical goddess tarot deck for your, you and your person group three. Let's get some more. All right. So why did group three's person choose them over the others? Four of fire. Group two got this as well. Completion. They feel complete with you. There's an element here that their life, something was missing until you came along. All right. So completion here with that four of wands energy giving off stability. You gave them a stable life for some of them. You helped them mitigate their drinking issues. If this person had excessive behavior, whether it was like an excessive partier or they were always had to be seen and be around and uh, get attention from people, they've changed because of you. You've helped them change. All right, more for group three's person, why they chose them. Six of C's, pleasure. You guys have a fun time together. Nice. All right, this is a bond physically and mentally that they don't share with anyone else. So there's a lot of pleasure in this connection. There's a lot of fun and intimacy and a lot of intensity in those interactions. Scorpio showing up again. All right, more for why your person chose you. Chariot, okay, Cancer showing up. So, yeah. You're the person they want to move forward with, progress. There's no way they're turning back. The only way they turned back was to come back and get you or to keep coming back to you until you guys got it right. But this chariot is ready to, to go onward. All right. And they want to, they want you on the path with them. Like I was saying, they don't want any, they don't want to share this journey, this path with anyone but you. All right. So these are messages that I created, guys, personality and physical traits. That um, could be why your person chose you. So let's take a look. Risk taker. You're a risk taker. They have fears and insecurities that you may not either have or that you don't you're not as insecure as they are and you're not you're you're very bold okay you're very bold you're all about the action this is why they chose you you made this person know that you were going places in life and they were going to get left behind if they didn't get it together right what else do we have you're very fun and adventurous too group three Okay. Peaceful. All right. The high priestess, you take time to yourself. You're very peaceful, temperance, mild, like what did I say? Mild, uh, mannered and very calm. You know how to talk through situations. You know how to wait for the right time. You don't push issues or force issues. All right. Your pride interesting okay they chose you because of your pride your dignity i take that as dignity okay so you're very prideful i even see that with like the king of swords and the chariot very sure of yourself this is pride i'm looking at these this is truly okay your pride but in a good way there's a lot of dignity with you. Okay. You're somebody who catches people's eyes. You get people's attention. You make sure people see you and hear you. You don't shrink to try to make others feel better. And they love that about you. All right. 
So I hope this message was able to resonate for you guys. That was my message for group three. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you would like more messages like this, I will talk to you soon.